If you listen to another person, you will learn. but um, little mixed up words. Speak, no speak. I know it, but speak, no speak. I have an uh, arm I can remove, and I am whole, but speak, uh, I am not whole. I think people with aphasia uh, teach us that we are, we are all fragile in unexpected ways. When you think about cancer or you think about muscular sclerosis or you think about Parkinson's disease, the disease has all these symptoms and aphasia is really the symptom of these other kinds of disorders. Everything is not what I thought it was going to be like. I thought I was going to be a principal and I was going to um, change the world and now I am going to um, recover slowly but surely. I will recover. You're a poster child for stroke <laughs> 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 Oh, well, I don't want to be a poster child. <laughs> My speech is getting better all the time, but um, it's still really hard to do a lot of just normal things, um, like trying to make lunch and talk. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> I think living successfully with aphasia means different things, obviously, to different people. Um, the people that I've come across, those that are living successfully with aphasia, are those that have come to terms with the fact that this is a new normal, that their life may not be the same as it was, but then they reinvent themselves in some way, and they're able to take that message to other people and make other people feel empowered. A long time ago, um, ban the music, reggae, strictly reggae. <laughs> I was Buffalo soldier, it's a war for America, fighting an arrival, fighting for survival. I mean Buffalo soldier, do 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 do. Why yo yo why yo yo yo. There used to be uh, now a politically incorrect phrase of, 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 of deaf and dumb. Uh, the term dumb has a double meaning of uh, speechless and stupid. Uh, aphasic patients may suffer greatly from being regarded as stupid, as dumb in both senses of the word. I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely affected me. It's, it's kind of one of those, you wish you had like the same dad from before, but at the same time it is the same dad, but it's, you know what I mean? I, I wish I could have the, those conversations that you can't have anymore, but you know what I mean? We still have conversations, we still hang out. They grow up faster. They, uh, they, uh, they know that they cannot do um, things because we can't handle it. And so I feel closer, but I think for my husband, it's, a, it's, really, uh, it's really hard for him to be the tear, caregiver for Everyone. If the family exerts itself, if other people exert themselves, then the patient can be 
uh, motivate it and, and be brought to life in all sorts of ways. I got a phase it. What you gonna do? I got a phase it. That's uh, 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 show the room. That I got a phase it. That's it's part of me now. It's part of me. I think it's very important for people to continue with their it's lives. Part of me. Okay, let's go. All right, you want to be? Like, if you have a goal, do it. And, and just even, not even achieving it, it's doing, like, a, a striving for it, is that will keep you alive. Um, the life participation approach to aphasia is critical. Many of the groups, many of the programs and centers use that approach, and that's where the person with aphasia is central to the process. Obviously, it's their life. After my stroke, you definitely think, you know, what, what am I going to do now? You know, what is not just the meaning of life, but what is my purpose? What am I going to do now? I think it's important for us to know that there is no plateau and that people with aphasia don't reach a plateau and stop. As a matter of fact, they're continually changing, continually improving for the rest of their lives. And when research has followed people over a long period of time, that's exactly what they've found. It's a battle um, to uh, have aphasia. Um, but it is one of those fights that is worth it. It's so worth it to win. I don't think anyone should be given up on, and I don't think anyone should be regarded as hopeless. And people can't live without hope.